All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. This is an interesting one. Um, I definitely want to get that shield and I definitely want to get that jewel box, which means we're going to have to have, in my opinion, I think a jewel focused build if we can get some good jewels, which means it's either it's pretty much just going to be mana. Um, mana, probably mana torch or something like that. If we can get some mana jewels in there, um, getting a ripshaw blade would be good because of the three jewel slots that it has something like that along the lines. I think that's the better play here. And then we'll get the sword for double DPS. All right, roll. Okay. Not too shabby. Um, we can either sell the clover here to get the walrus tusk in order to get spike shields around sooner, which would be good for DPS, or we can get torch or even banana for survivability. I say our survivability for the first round is good or it's not great, but I mean, we do have wooden buckler and we do got double DPS. So we go against another uh, ranger. We should give them a run for their money, even without having banana. So I say we sell clover and get spikes reserve bro for those for next round i think that's the good play here so we're gonna get someone that opted out for the banana instead um but we do have double dps which is good however our stamina is gonna be drained a lot faster than his so hopefully we'll be able to deal enough dps to him i don't know how he's dealing more dps than us i've got no idea i say we probably lose this more than likely oh oh almost one health at the end there it's okay though it's okay all right we got spike shields which is good let's go ahead and get that torch um let's get banana in space that's the best place we can do we're gonna focus on dps here though so i want to get whetstones as soon as possible like this guy way higher dps than we do but i mean hopefully spike shoes might be able to come in the clutch here if we can survive long enough because of the banana potentially nope 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 oh there we go looks good we'll get our first whetstone beautiful um i'll buy this for the future and let's go ahead and get a customer card i know a lot of people say customer cards are waste of money but for the sake of us uh, going to need very specific weapons here. It's either going to be mana or ripshaw. That's what I'm leaning towards right now. I feel like I need that customer card. Damn, come on, come on. We got to win something. We got to win something. Okay. Space, good. Space, good. Um, I say leather armor. I say leather armor here. It's on sale. We have to get it. Roll. Banana on sale is good. And then we also got to chip the ruby. Um, Let's combine those two and get the chip ruby along with the banana. I think that's good. Going against... We should beat this guy though. He's got double banana though, but I mean, we have spike shields. He doesn't have spike shields. And our DPS is similar, along with us having leather armor. I feel like we should be able to kill this guy because we're going to be able to out DPS him, even with uh, the bananas, which looks like is, uh, is, is what's happening. So yeah, good game, good game, good game. Wow. An early thorn whip. That makes me want to switch up the build. It's the first weapon that we get is an early thorn whip on round five. Round five thorn whip is no joke. That makes me want to go poison build so badly now. But I passed up on a poison potion, which would have helped getting the Belladonna's Whisper. I'm going to do it. I might regret it. I'm a hard pivot here. We're hard pivoting. We're hard pivoting to poison. So let's sell both of those. Um, for the sake of stamina. And then we'll just put both of those on there. I'm still going to buy both of these. Though. Roll space. Beautiful. 
Pineapple is pretty beautiful as well. And we'll just roll with this. Whoops. Um. Yeah. Would have been able to get a hero sword right there too. But yeah, okay. Uh, going against spike shields with broom, wooden sword, a little bit of a health potion. A lot of healing. However, I think our DPS is just going to be way too high for this guy. Considering we have spike shields. Pretty much. Or a uh, thorn whip. Um, unless it's just not. Which, never mind, it is. 36 critical right there. Crazy. Okay. Hold up. Bloodthorn? It's possible. Are we going to hard pivot again to Bloodthorn? I mean, round six Bloodthorn is no joke. We could definitely do that. I say that's what we do. Boom. We're going to hard pivot again. <laughs> hard pivot to Bloodthorn. Um, which means we're definitely going to need that pineapple and we're going to need a, a, as much vampirism as possible. And pray and hope we don't go against uh, a, a Ripshaw Blade. Um, but yeah. Boom. Um, let's put you back on the field so I can actually get more jewels. You can go there. Don't really have a spot for the banana, unfortunately. But that's okay. We'll roll with this. I say we lose this one just because of stamina. That's a lot of potions as well. Woo! A lot of potions. And our stamina sucks. And um, game over. <laughs> game over. Good game, though. It's okay. Because now we have the Bloodthorn, which is great. Even getting a Ruby Egg would be good, honestly. To be honest. But we definitely need this Pineapple. 100% we need that Pineapple. We have no regeneration. We have one life. No regeneration. So if we want even the slightest chance of winning, we need to use that Pineapple. Let's... um. We'll actually go Flawless Ruby on that. And I'd say probably that 15% chance of resisting poison is good. Put the speed on there. Um, Man, I want to get this blueberry. Kind of want to get carried too. Definitely want to get the blueberry though, for sure. So let's get blueberry. Hmm... Hmm, actually, let me think. I do want to get the Ruby Egg just for a second form of DPS, even if it's not going to be a lot. I mean, it'll be better than nothing, considering it takes no stamina. So I kind of want to get that. I do want to use that for just DPS sakes. I could put this like that, though. Put uh, this down here, and then carrot can go up there. Just sell this poison guy for the carrot. Just I'm just trying to make this pineapple as fast as possible because that's going to be our only form of scaling. I, I'm a pass on a ruby egg. It's a little bit too expensive for me right now. But yeah, this is going to be our only form of scaling DPS with our bloodthorn until we can find some uh, uh, regeneration or until the class items come in. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing pretty much. Um, but our DPS is pretty damn high right now, so I feel like we should definitely kill this guy. For sure. Good game, good game, good game. All right, here we go. So let's get leaf, um, space. I'll get that, it's only one. Give me space. I need it, space right there. Oh my gosh, I need space so badly right now. I say, I might even just sell leather armor. I might just sell leather armor just for space in order to utilize uh, the leaf as much as possible. And we also need the vampirism from the blood armor uh, amulet. So yeah, I'm going to just sell that. Um, we also need to utilize that pineapple. So what do we need? 13? Let's sell the customer card and a jewel. Could be worth it, honestly. Let's put you... Right here is not a bad spot. That's got two. That's got four. Yeah, that's not a bad spot. Okay. Um, now we just need three gold. So. Mm, 
Also, that pineapple's not in there. Just realized. Um, can maybe we just move this pineapple up by one? Move this up here for like that. It's a little bit better. Let's honestly, let's just get rid of customer card. I think that's a little bit better of a choice. So you get the blood amulet. DPS just went up. So did survivability, which is great. Should I move this up by one? I feel like I should move this up by one. I feel like it's just better if I do. Was that five stars? We can do better than that, right? We put that there. Still five stars, damn it. <laughs> um, and that's two, that's one. No, that's not gonna do. That is not going to do. That's got to go there. Still five stars. Okay. Well, this could go down there. They both have three now, which isn't bad. And now it's six stars. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Not too shabby. I'm a. S oh, no. I'm not going to sell you. I feel like it now it would not be smart to sell you. All right, going against a uh, Gooby, uh, carry Goobert, or with Torch. Stamina is going to be crazy, though. He's got the Shield of Valor along with Spike Shields. Very dangerous stuff. And he also went critical here. Um, But we're going to have the Vampirism. We're going to have the Spikes. Our DPS is going to be high, which is going to be really, really good. Woo! So we should kill him. <laughs> so we should kill him. Definitely should kill him. There we go. Nice. I'll take that. Whoa. Artifact of the cold. Wish I had me a dark saber right about now, honestly. I say we take this, though. Honestly, I say we take it. It alone just helps. Like, always, right? So, we can honestly just sell this Westland and replace it like that. Because we're not going to have another uh, uh, weapon at all. Let's buy some space here. And let's just use the space to combine both of those and we'll just call that a day. I think that'll be uh, solid. Okay, looks like a thorny poison build here. We should be able to survive against this guy. Even with the poison that he's going to be putting on us. Hopefully. <laughs> Keyword, hopefully. Um, oh yeah, 44 crit right there. Disgusting. Disgusting damage from the Bloodthorn. Disgusting damage. I'll take it though. Boom. Nice little combination. Um. I don't even know if we should go mana or because we get mana from this. Unless we just. Unless we utilize the mana orbs proc and don't go book of life. That is an option that we have. It is an option. I kind of want to do that option. Um, I would love to put it like here, though. Here would be good, too, actually. Now, let's put it there. That works. I, I still don't think it's going to proc, but as the game goes on, should be fine. We also got gloves of haste here, though. For We could turn that into a little bit more vampirism. Let's do that. I think that's a little bit well, a lot better um, option. Um, damn, I need this banana to go somewhere, though. Not many places this banana can go, unless I were to move this around. Do that. And then boom, like so. That's got three food, three food. And that, okay. I think that's okay. And then we got space, beautiful. Getting that shoot of Valor would be good. That pretty much just eats up our space, though. So I don't know how good it would be. But getting it in general would be good, though. I say we get it. Eventually. It's probably going to stay there for a while, but we, we should definitely get that. Um, Looks like we're going to get just a shovel with a uh, bow and arrow. Nothing's upgraded here. Low DPS. Um, He's got poison, though. Full out poison. Um, So he's going to be resisting debuffs, but we're not putting debuffs on him except the cold. So that really doesn't matter. 
Um, so we should be able to just out DPS him for sure here. Just because our Bloodthorn is doing 38 on a critical this early, which is pretty damn nasty. So yeah, we'll take this one home as well. Thank you, sir. Boom, now we got Vampiric Gloves. Let's go ahead and get you. Oh, we could sell something here and get it. And honestly, I kind of want to use... Man, I kind of want to use uh, Vampiric Gloves on Bloodthorn. Was this 35% faster? We could even move this pineapple over there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move the pineapple over here. Because I see essentially like three foods on just that one singular pineapple. And then we could just try to max out the foods on here. As much as we can. Yeah, something like this isn't bad. What was that three foods? Maybe we can maybe we can do better. Maybe we can do better. Now it's four. Um, put that there, put that up there. Now it's five. Nice. So now all the food is on there. Awesome, 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 awesome. We're not getting that much. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. So we're missing one star. Which means we could put it down here or just leave it up there. Not sure. I think that's fine though. That's fine. Um I'm going to get rid of this 15% chance to resist poison in order to buy the Shield of a lore. Even though we don't really have a spot to put it right now. I mean, no, no, no. I could sell you. I don't need you anymore now that I have the Shield of a lore actually. And then I could put the Shield of a lore down there. And now we have a spot. Boom. That can go there for that uh, shield gaining. Help us out with survivability. Or you can roll. Got a little bit of regeneration. I'll take that. Also got space. Can I sell something for this regeneration though? Could sell a blueberry. Kinda. I say I keep what I got. I think I'm fine with what we have right now. Um, let's get another carrot. Yeah, yeah. Let's get another carrot, actually. Nah, I don't want that. All right, we're, we're, we're good with this. We're good with this. I need this fine. Going against a big old great sword. But a bunch of jewels on it, too. Pretty nasty stuff, man. Pretty nasty stuff. Let's see how we do against this guy. Nine damage. We're going to have to do a lot more damage than just nine, my friend. Come on, 14. Miss. Come on. Come on. We're slowing him down, too, which is good. 30 damage. We're going to get a lot of our health back, though, from the vampirism, which is beautiful. And every time he does damage to us, our spikes just does damage to him as well. So as far as DPS goes, we should definitely be able to out-DPS this guy for sure. Definitely going to be able to out-DPS him. Out of stamina right there. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. All right, let's get the space. Let's get the healing herb. Getting a birdie might actually be good. I will reserve that birdie for the future. My birdie endeavors. Um, I think this is fine. Let's roll here. Okay, we got lucky and got space. Beautiful. That's what I really wanted, to be honest. Okay. All right, cool. I think we get bird. Okay. I think getting bird would be good. And maybe even pointing board towards the food would be even better. Because I really want to get that um that increase in speed from the, the carrots along with getting that critical from the blueberries. That's really what I'm trying to aim for right now. Because we're going to need to get that crit chance up higher if we want to keep dealing high DPS. Um, and then getting that crit chance higher also is going to help us out getting that empowerments from the carrots. Which also helps us out with DPS, right? So that's going to be my next goal, honestly. Seems like we win against this guy too. Even though his DPS was kind of high, we got a low on health there. Um, honestly, ooh, but then we get the blood amulet and I'm like, yeah, we kind of need that. We kind of need that. If I were to get a birdie, though, I will put it right here. What a beautiful spot for a bird. Um, But we can't. So we're getting Blood Amulet instead. Because that helps us better, I think. Ooh, getting that regular Sapphire is actually kind of nice. We can combine those. The reason why I want the Sapphire is for a potential uh, Jin uh, um, proc. Because this is going to give us that four. And this gives us that three, uh, which we need seven. So we should be straight for the gin proccing. 
um, once we get this. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna just get that. <laughs> and next round, hopefully I can give me some space and get that birdie on the field. Got a Fortuna's Grace with a Hero Longsword on a Dagger and a Ruby Whelp. Very interesting. He's also got heat on him too, which I don't think is gonna work. I don't, it, uh, yeah, they shouldn't be able to reach 10 heat. Oh no, he's at seven now. If he reaches that 10, we might be in trouble because that's a plus 10 damage or plus eight. Yeah. Ooh, nasty damage they're doing to us right now though. But we're coming back with that vampirism. That vampirism is helping us so much right now. 56, critical. He's out of stamina, we win. Good game, good game. Good game. Boom, nice. And we just do that. Um, I wanna buy you, so I'm gonna buy you. We can move this down here, like that. Not really sure where to put this banana though. I mean, we could just do that for space. That kind of pretty much fixes that whole, I don't know what to do with this banana dose situation. Um. We're missing three slots from the leaf, but we should be okay, honestly. So yeah, let's just rock this. I think that's good. Okay. Going against a Bloodthorn build of our own, or of his own, but he's also got Ripshaw Blade. So we're gonna have to rely purely on vampirism here and critting, which is scary. Very, very scary stuff. Um, Very scary, actually. We might lose this one. Ooh. And then he's got four bananas, so his stamina is going to be good. Yeah, 54 crit right there. Yeah. He's got a better food situation than we do. Um, And he just got Ripshot Blade, which pretty much killed our, our build. Damn. It's okay, though. That was a good game. That was a good game. All right, let's keep that like it is. I do want to get this ruby. Let's roll. Okay. Getting in the cap of resilience is good. Let's buy that. Ruby can go into Bloodthorn. Um. That can say like it is. We'll put you up here. Let's buy you. I want to see if I can actually move you to here to act as another activation for the mana orb which might proc now hopefully you can go there for the increase in healing so now our vampirism and everything should heal us a lot better now and roll you know how much stamina he had he was at a 1.9 stamina cost a second it's pretty crazy but then he did have four bananas and a birdie unless that was our bird going crazy might have been just Arbor going crazy. Okay. Mana Thirst, Mana Torch build. Double uh, crowns. Insta proc on one of the crowns. Holy crap. The very beginning, too. Pretty crazy. Um, Let's see if we can survive this guy. Because his healing is going to be pretty damn good because of that Mana Thirst. But how good is the question? I don't think it's going to be very good. Not as good as ours, though. I believe we win this one. Thorns is going crazy. Vampirism is doing nuts. Um, there goes our critical getting up there too. First empowerment on the play. Second empowerment on the play. Looking nice. Looking very, very nice. We might even be able to proc the mana orb at this rate, honestly. Nope, he just dies first. Hell yeah. I'll take that W, sir. Oh, give me another blueberries. Don't mind if I do with the protected purse. Thank you. We can turn this into a cap of resilience as well. That's going to be beautiful. Um, let's buy that for space, and then we can combine that too, which is going to be great. We can honestly... We can move this there. That helps a lot better. This guy can go uh, right here to activate that. And I'm going to just sell you so I can roll. It's not a bad roll, honestly, but at the same time, oh, do I want this glowing crown? Yeah, I feel like if it had two mana orbs, it'd be different. I don't think this mana orb is going to activate fast enough, so I say we get the glowing crown 
and just utilize that for the invulnerability aspect of it. Oh, double cap of uh, freaking uh, discomfort. Woo! Nasty, 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 nasty. Opponent's healing is reduced by 60%. Vampirism is not going to be doing that much. Um, it's pretty nasty. He's also going to have the poison on us because of the death scythe. Poison dagger. And then he's also got vampirism of his own. Uh, we might still be able to come out on top here. I mean, he's he's got 16 vampirism. We still got a little bit of regeneration to turn into vampirism of our own, which is good. 62 DPS right there. He's out of stamina as well, which is even better. Even better for us. Oh, man. But that poison is still racking up, though. As long as we keep hitting these criticals, we have nothing to worry about. 49%. Okay, we didn't hit it that time. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. 74. There we go. There we go. There we go. 68 through 8. There we go. What's that critical? 61%. 80. One more hit and he's dead. One more hit and he's dead. You got to work on that stamina usage, buddy. Good game, though. Boom. Good combinations. Let's move you there. I'm going to move you there so you can combine. We also need to have this guy on the play. So let's move you there. I think that's the best spot I could put you. Um, and then let's just get the glowing crown. Glowing crown, I can replace this with probably just the banana. Just to use it for the activations. You can go there. That can go there. And getting that pineapple, I think is a good choice. We can sell this for six. Sell this for one. Get the pineapple, put it right there. Beautiful. Triple pineapple looking good. Triple pineapple looking damn good. I like this. I like this. Picasso, let's go. Okay. What are we going against? Another Bloodthorn. Okay, Bloodthorn versus Bloodthorn. This guy's got triple glowing crowns. He's got three of them. Which is gnarly. We insta proc our uh, first glowing crown. Okay. We should have more vampirism to him, though. I mean, he's got three, um, he's got three to what you call it, but I don't know we're actually going to be tied for vampirism, but we, we gain, uh, thorns a lot faster than he does. So our blood thorn should be doing more damage than his is doing. Plus he doesn't have jewels. So our healing is going to be better. Survivability is going to be better. The only thing we got to worry about is this glowing crown situation he's got going on. That's it. That is it. 108 damage right there. I think he's... Whoosh. Holy Jesus. I love it. Boom. Nice. I said we probably just get rid of these sapphires. Maybe. Oh, we got another blood amulet. I'm, the only reason I wanted them on here is because of the proccing for the gin, but we don't have a gin. Um... So what I could potentially do? Nah, I want that life steal. I love that 20% life steal. And then having this the 15% amplified is good. I would just love to have more 15% amplified. So that's all. I could put that on the resist stuns. We definitely need the blood amulet. Getting this for crit is also good. Photos are beautiful. Now we just don't have slots. <laughs> um, unless we can roll for something good here. That's not what I was looking for. But I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Pretty sure... Pretty sure we win this next one. Oh, look at that. I'm so glad I got that 50, uh, 20 percent 20 chance to resist being stunned. Versus the freaking hammer build. Invulnerability, right off the rip too. Not too shabby. Gives me a little bit of time to ramp up that damage. Getting my pierce on. 48 damage off the rip. Come on, let him have it. Let this man have it. Teach hammer stun build who is boss. 64 damage, baby. Let's go with that critical. 84 with that critical. 58% 84. Come on. He's not even going to get my health low, bro. <laughs> never stood a chance. He never stood a chance. 20 spikes, 20 vampirism. We were doing 46 to 50 damage, 100 damage on critical. And then we had that uh, stun resist as well. This man had one, two, three, four, five, six daggers. 
Six daggers with the new and improved bloody dagger as well for that regeneration. Um, poison dagger for, I don't know why. <laughs> TBH. And he also has strong demonic flask and everything. Nasty, nasty dude. But nothing compared to the vampirism. Good game, my friend. Good game. Look at me. Look at me staying at diamond. Look at me go.